This is the voice, this is the voice, this is the voice of Radio Free Neruda. Merry Christmas. How festive. God damn it! The printer's dyslexic and the proofreader's drunk. They've got it all wrong. It isn't Merry Xmas at all. What is it then? Say, Mad Execute Moss. Greeting. <coughs> Le 
little lost demon. A little demon sported as all the big devils were raising hell and had time for little else. The little demon played alone. He liked to pitch, to bag and to snag. Cursing was a favorite and lately he spouted a stream so blue it doubled his personal best. But his passion was chasing temptation. In truth, he had flitted flirt so far as to grow giddy and become quite lost. Oh dear, said the little demon, where in hell am I? Or rather, he soon reflected, where is hell? He fluttered here and there to look for hell, and back again several times over, but to no avail. Hell was nowhere seen. The little demon did see a vulture soaring past. Quickly catching up, he hailed with, I'm lost. You're lost. You should go to hell, answered Vulture. Could you take me there? asked the little demon. We're a long, tall soar out of hell, but for you it's a quick trip back. How? Oh. Just go to hell, dear. Well, that's no help at all. We should help you to hell. It would be nice. Well then, we leave you with this. Flap the wings, not your yap. And with that vulture bade adieu, rising off. Don't yap, flap. Oh dear, sighed the little demon and flew some while. Could that be the road to hell? He asked, spying horse walking past. Landing, he hailed. I'm lost. You're lost. You should go to hell, answered horse. Could you take me there? Asked the little demon. We're a long, hard road out of hell, but for you it's a quick trip back. How? Just go to hell, dear. Well, that's no help at all. We should help you to how. It would be nice. Well, then, we leave you with this. Keep huffing till your dogs get there.
And with that horse bade adieu, cantering off. Hoofing hot dogs, oh dear, said the little demon, and trotting a while came upon a knight's pavilion. Is that someone camped the gates of hell, he asked, and entering declared, I'm lost. The knight did not speak. I'm lost. The knight still did not speak. He shan't speak. He's dead. And you? Asked the little demon. Where the hound? Perhaps you met the horse. Yes, a vulture too. He luncheoned with the knight and some while bade adieu. Why do you linger? Some say loyalty, but we still have a bone to pick. I'm lost. Tu étais perdu de début, enfant l'affaire. Parlez-vous français? Mary, my father's French spaniel. S'il vous plaît, où est l'enfer? pled the little demon. Petit nef, luck, perdition's all about you. War is hell. War is hell? You could have been more direct. You know a shaggy dog. And with that, Hound bade adieu, off to Barry Bone. Gazing up, the little demon saw the fallen banners, slain company, burning camp, ruined engine, shattered gate, broken walls, and toppled towers. Great their destruction, not left but smoke and desolation. Well, I'll be damned, exclaimed the little demon, and no longer lost, went back to play. Why, dear one, do we inflict this sordid, squalid drollery, this tatty, tarnished tale? Well, most precious. As a child we were read, the author long dead. A Christmas tale, the littlest angel.
it scarred us for life. And with that we bid adieu, wishing all good night. I'll never do Rudolph, the big nose Nazi. You know, Goering and Goebbels and Himmler and Bormann, Stryker and Stangl and Eva and Eichmann, but do you recall the most heinous brown shirt of all? Rudolph the Big Nose Nazi had a very sheeny nose, and if you ever saw him, you would even say it grows. All of the other brown shirts used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in the Olympic Games. Then one foggy crystal night, Adolf came to say, Rudolph, with your nose not slight, won't you guide the sleigh right? Then all the brown shirts loved him, as they shouted, Si Pali! Rudolph, the big nose Nazi, you'll go down in infamy. Rudolph, the big nose Nazi, had a very sheeny nose, and if you ever saw him, you would even say it grows. All of the other brown shirts used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in the Olympic Games. Then one foggy crystal night, Adolf came to say, Rudolph, with your nose not slight, won't you guide the sleighing right? Then all the brown shirts loved him, as they shouted, Seek highly! Rudolph, the big nose Nazi, you'll go down in infamy.
got a call in on the radio saying there was an ambush coming in, and because of that intel, we were able to get out of there before things got bad. The mission of the Reaper is both ISR, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and also CAS, close air support. So not only are we helping uh, ground forces see what they need to see, but if they're in trouble, we have weapons that can uh, support suppressing the, the enemy forces. The MQ-9 Reaper aircraft is capable of carrying four Hellfire munitions. The Reaper is also capable of carrying four GBU munitions, guided bomb units. We can either load the GBU-12. The GBU-12 is a 500-pound laser-guided munition, or the GBU-38, which is a GPS-guided munition. The Hellfire is extremely accurate, and it's laser-guided. The sensor operator, they're the ones that lays the target. The sensor can pick where they want to put the munition, whether in a car window, the passenger, or the rear. They work in coordination with the pilot. He's the one that actually pulls the trigger, releasing the weapon. It's amazing to, to see these munitions at work. It's very satisfying to know that we have a hand in what's going on in the, in the world, whether it's training pilots home station or being deployed supporting the war effort. save someone's life today. Seating was brought to you by the makers at Golematic. Bright Lies for Dark Truths.